Hello everyone, this is the Board Game Hero and this is solo playthrough of Discover Lands Unknown. I have my board set up here. I got the island terrain as you can see here. That's how it is set up. I just followed the reference sheet that came with the game. It just tells you everything that you need to know to set up the game. So I got everything here set up for solo play. Uh, my scenario is Cry for Help. Now our character here is Tasha Fletcher, a marathon runner. Uh, her ability is to move up to 4 spaces moving only to spaces with a stamina cost of 1. But I can only use it once per day. Our starting projects, we have the basket, bedroll, and stone knife. Before we take our first turn, we have to read our scenario. So scenario 1, cry for, cry for help, stage 1. April 1972, you find an old journal bound in cracking leather. Someone was here before you making their own notes on the surrounding terrain and wondering about how to get home. The journal is still more or less intact. It can't have been lying here exposed to the elements for very long. The last entry sparks your interest. Tomorrow, I head toward the plume of smoke on the horizon. Hopefully, it's a sign of civilization and will lead me home. So our objective is to investigate landmark number one and then we can advance to stage two. Alright. So now we can actually take our first Turn. So what I want to do right now is to explore uh, my surrounding tiles so I can find some food and some water. At first, I start with one food and one water with, with the fire so we can cook food. So I'm going to open um, tile number two, spend one action to scout the area. So I open this one and we have two animals roaming around. So let's get some tokens in there. Put it right there, one and two. Alright, so we got some animals um, surrounding us. I guess that's okay. Let's move one space for now. So I can open uh, number one here. Maybe there's more water, food, or stone over here. So, uh, so that's one to scout. Then one for movement and another one for another scout. So let's, let's reduce three points to our stamina. So we don't forget. So our stamina is now nine. Then we scout this surrounding area we got food and a, and a landmark and that landmark is number 43 so we got a fish over here it's hard to move on the water it costs two, two stamina all right so let's try to hunt this animal so we get to move two spaces we're gonna do move and gather so one and two so that's two moves and one free gather we flip this token what is it it's an encounter number 47. So let's get that card. Encounter number 47 is dilapidated fence. Someone has erected the wooden fence along the side of the hill. Much of the wood is rotted away, but you may be able to salvage some of it. So we gain one wood and we will roll a die. So this is our wood and we will roll our gray die. We roll the one and it says here, on a roll of seven to 12, we keep the token. But since we roll the one, we'll, we discard the token. Alright, so this goes back to the deck, then this token will be discarded face up. Okay, so in uh, in that encounter, we got one wood, which is okay. I guess we can now create a basket if we need to. Um, Alright, uh, what's next? I guess it's time to hunt the other one, so we're gonna, we're gonna spend three stamina to go there. So let's do it now, one, two, three. That's auto gather. So one, two, three. Auto gather. Let's see. Oh, we got an animal. So we're hunting. I think this is a goat. So let's get the enemy card. All right. As expected, we found a goat roaming around the island. So this one, we can kill it with just a seven roll. And it doesn't fight back. But it has two health. So it's going to take time. But it will, it will give us two meat and one pelt. That's nice. That's good, good, good enough. Let's roll our two combat dives here. We successfully damage the goat and then it will run away to this is a number nine. Sorry about that. Let's put some light there. This is a number nine. So it will go towards um yep, it's a lower left. So we put one counter on the card, so that's one damage. Then it will run towards this spot it hides in the bush it's gonna be harder for us to reach that animal if we're gonna get some meat we have to hunt that animal later on so what we're going to do 
I can always spend one stamina to move four spaces so I can do one, two, three, four, and I will be back at camp. So I will have three extra stamina today. So I'm going to explore one, two, and three. So let's go explore number four. One stamina to scout ahead. And we found a water source. Then, what is this? A wood source. And then next, wait, let's, let's do it like this. Then next, we will scout number two. Okay, oh nice, we have another animal here. And a stone resource there. Um, yeah, okay, I guess... Um, right, so I guess it's time to go back. So we have one extra stamina later, or should we just open? Um, okay, so I've decided to spend one stamina to open this uh, tile to scout ahead. So we got wood and a stone feature. So we're s slowly building our map. And then, sorry, let's fix that one. And then we can just run back at camp using this one. It says here, one stamina to move up to four spaces, moving only into spaces with the stamina cost of one. This is one, 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 and one. So let's do that right now. So stamina cost of one, we can move four spaces. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so we are now back at camp with some resources of food, water, and one wood. All right, so it's now night phase. All right, so this is our first night in the island. This is our moon, and this is what happens. Thirst. Each survivor spends one water. We have one water, so we spend that one. We don't want to get damaged. And then we get some deep sleep. Each survivor at a fire gains nine stamina. That's nice. So we have nine stamina from that sleep then we have some inspiration the tribe leader draws one project card nice i'm the tribe leader so we draw one more project card we currently now have four project card and this is my favorite this allows us to make fire using two wood anywhere on the map but we are limited to four i think because we only have four fire tokens anyway um now that we are inspired um patrol the, the enemies are patrolling so we don't have enemies on the board right now so if there are no normal monster tokens on the map, spawn one monster token at the lowest numbered landmark. Alright. Alright, so our lowest numbered landmark is number 43. Therefore, we spawn our monster in there. Alright, so that is really close to camp, to our camp. Alright, so that is our first night uh, on this island. Now let's go on to the second day.